Many Department of Defense suppliers are looking for ways to work with Wide Area Workflow, or WAF, more efficiently. This presentation is an overview of how to do exactly that. My name is Brian Aldridge. I work in product support at Millpack Technology. On the screen are some different ways to get in touch with me, including email, Twitter, LinkedIn, and a phone number. WAF automation. What is it? Who needs it? And how does it work? We're going to cover these three topics today. Let's start with a broad overview definition. WAF automation is the ability to submit data to Wide Area Workflow without logging into WAF in a web browser like Internet Explorer or Firefox. This is accomplished through the use of an external interface to WAF designed by the government for just this purpose. When we teach about WAF, we get this comment many times early in the session. Well, I'm already automated. I use WAF every day. It is true that WAF is an automated system, and what I mean by that is WAF can communicate software to software to other systems. However, WAF is automated inside the government. As a DoD supplier sitting outside the government, the government gives you the choice to automate or not to automate the way you work with Wide Area Workflow. Let's start by talking about what WAF automation is not. WAF automation is not typing in WAF's web screens, UIDs, long lists of RFIDs, serial numbers, etc. WAF automation is not getting booted out of WAF and starting all over again on your shipment. Again, WAF automation is not sitting and waiting on slow screen responses from WAF. WAF automation is preparing shipment data on your PC and then sending the data to WAF in a batch. This means you have the opportunity to draft your shipment, save it, go home, come back next week, share that data with other people within your company on the computer, edit your shipment, add in serial numbers that may not be made available to you until the last minute before shipping, and then when you're all ready, submit the data to WAF in a batch transaction. WAF automation means that you can also use advanced data entry practices. Since the shipment data is on your local PC, you have the opportunity to use things like lookup lists, calculators, and wizards to make the entry of data easier. WAF automation means that you can reuse the data, the shipment data that you submit to Wide Area Workflow for labels, reports, and for other systems that you may have. It also means that you can copy contracts, shipments, CLINs, any data that you have, addresses, part descriptions, that you want to reuse since the data lives on your local PC you have the opportunity to use that data again. WAF automation is using electronic data that you already have to build these shipments. If you have contract data in another system feed it into your WAF automation system so you don't have to type it. If you have your UID data electronically from a UID verification system or UID data management system you have the opportunity to import that data into a WAF automation system. Same thing with RFID tag numbers, serial numbers, etc. WAF automation also means you can submit and forget with follow-up. What I mean by this is you don't have to sit and type data into WAF, wait for a response. Type data into WAF, wait for a response. You can get your data all together, get it all ready, submit it, and then forget about that shipment, go on to other things. You still have to follow up, watch for the WAF notification emails, make sure that the right data gets into WAF the way you expect it to, but you don't have to sit there and wait on that. WAF automation systems also means that you can work as fast as you can type because you're not waiting on the internet in between you and the system you're working on. Work as fast as you can type and then submit that data when you're ready. So who needs WAF automation? Anyone with lots of data. And what do we mean by lots of data? Well, more data than you care to type and retype. This could be Lots of CLINs, lots of RFID tag numbers, many shipments, long lists of UIDs, as well as serial numbers. When we first start talking with the Department of Defense supplier about WAF automation and start looking at their current process, typically we see that the same data is entered and re-entered many times. The same data, same shipment data could be entered into some kind of financial, ERP, order management, or billing system. The same data is entered again into labeling systems, and even within the labeling systems, many times we see that the data is re-entered. It's entered maybe for a unit container label, and then the same data is entered again for an exterior container label, and then some of the same data may be re-entered again for a military shipment label, that there's not even sharing of data within the labeling system. 
and then we see the data entered again into white area workflow. So normally we see that the same data is typed and retyped by either one person or maybe multiple people up to five to seven times. And as we all know, redundant data entry means higher cost per shipment, a higher risk of errors, and also just plain tedious work. Does this mean that DOD suppliers are, are inefficient in the way they work? They're just not very smart? Absolutely not. This way of working made sense for many, many, many decades. When the government needed data in a way that was going to be processed by a human being, they wanted it on human readable labels, on human readable forms, you were going to hand a piece of paper or uh, a stack of paper to somebody for acceptance of the shipment and for invoicing. It made really good sense to work that way. It meant that you could add new people on when you had more business. You could uh, just add on some typewriters and some PCs and, and get people working. It meant that people could specialize on the different forms that needed to be done. And uh, it, it was just an, an easy, easy way to work and as efficient as it needed to be. Well, now DOD commerce is e-commerce. And what I mean by that is the ways that the government wants data from you now are all electronic or almost all electronic. You see on the right hand side a number of forms and labels. These forms are by and large replaced by electronic transactions. The labels have barcodes on them. The barcodes, even though they're something that a human being can look at, they're actually data that's consumed by a computer through a barcode scanner. You see in red an RFID tag number. An RFID tag number is to be put on every box and every pallet sent to the DOD for which there is an RFID requirement. That data is to be read by a computer. UID numbers. You see in blue the UID number. This is actually a very short one. They can be much, much longer than this. For every shipment that has a UID requirement, the parts would all have a UID mark on the specific part. And the UIDs are then to be related to the RFID. Which UID marked parts are in which RFID marked boxes are on which RFID marked pallets. All this data is now electronic, which means the old ways of working manually just don't make sense anymore. So let's talk about how WAF automation works. The Department of Defense has provided two ways for you to get data into wide area workflow. The first one most of you are familiar with is uh, you just log into a, a web browser, get on the internet, log into WAF, and start typing in your shipment data. And this is one way that the government has provided and is designed really for companies that have very, very few shipments, very small shipments. They've provided another way for you to get data into wide area workflow through WAF automation. And when we start talking about WAF automation, there are lots of kind of computer terms that come up that you see on the screen, EDI, SFTP, etc. This is computer technology that talks about some of the plumbing and some of the underpinning that makes WAF automation work. And we can discuss those details with you offline, but for this discussion, we just want you to understand that there are two ways to get data in, interactively through a web screen or in batch through a WAF automation system. So here's uh, kind of a diagram of how WAF automation system works. Notice that we can feed the same data that we feed to WAF to other systems like the UID registry. Automated DOD supplier systems or WAF automation systems use scanned barcode data. They can also use automatically generated data that they would generate inside their own system. They can interface with label and RFID printers, interface with other systems such as ERP or other finance or order management systems, and also allow data sharing with different people in your company so that you can collaborate on shipments, each person doing their part and then submitting the data. And then most importantly, WAF automation systems communicate with wide area workflow. So in this presentation, we've talked about what WAF is, who needs it, and how it works. We have other materials available for you. We have a step-by-step -step demonstration that shows you exactly, step-by-step, uh, screen-by-screen, how this works. We also have a case study prepared for you where we discuss how one DOD supplier in particular benefited from WAF automation. You can find these at the web address on the screen, web.milpac.com slash WAF. Thank you.